Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my new series, which is Dart Under the Hood. So this is something which I wanted to create from some time now, and uh, I I don't know like how to start this, but now I'm finally starting this, and uh, this is something which is uh, very much uh, like an advanced kind of Dart course where we will talk about what happens under the hood, behind the scenes, and uh, how your code is actually gets memory, and uh, what is thread of execution, and all those things. So we will cover thread of execution, function, call stack in this particular video. And maybe in future, we will also cover things like high order functions, closers, uh, lambdas, uh, then asynchronous programming, then uh, isolates, event loop, uh, and all those things. So the main idea is, guys, to talk, uh, to talk about uh, those things, which is the hardest part when you do, do programming, which you don't know, because it's not happening in front of your eyes. So that's the idea and I really want your support for this series. So like uh, please support if you want uh, this series to be something and if you want to learn from this series in any way like I'm going to upload these videos on either uh, Mtech Viral School or on if you want on YouTube then please support. So we are like targeting 500 likes for this video so that uh, I know that you know you are interested in this series and uh, as you can see on this particular screen we will start with um, uh, Dart principles and before that there is something which I want to talk about and that is like what is Dart so um, if you'll see Dart is basically a single threaded system uh, which is like if you know about node.js that is uh, another runtime for JavaScript that is also single threaded so that's this is the similar concept here I talk about what is uh, single threaded what is multi threaded uh, uh, but uh, like right now just just uh, understand that it's single threaded and we'll talk about it but uh, for right now we will talk about what is like what are the major components when we talk about dart so there are three major components if you will see the first one is libraries so libraries as you might have seen dart core or uh, dart uh, uh, like io dart collections so like your strings and integer you'll find in dart core so those are the libraries which dart uses all of those libraries then the second thing is virtual machine what is virtual machine vm uh, is basically if you are making a flutter application you might have seen there's a virtual machine which is actually making your hot reload hot restart possible that is uh, virtual machines third one is tools so it, it can be like you know command line tools web tools so dart uses like for command line you might, might have seen pub um and dart to native all those are command line tools for like web tools there are like dart to js which converts your dart code to javascript so that it can run on the web so yeah th that is what you should know about dart now let's talk about the principles so uh the first thing which you have to remember is that dart like it, like dart compiler goes through the code line by line and then executes each line this this is the process which we call thread execution so thread execution is our first principle and that is the foremost uh, important principle that our code goes through everything line by line and that's what you have to remember and that's what we mean by a single thread system because there can be only one thread active at once and it will follow this thread execution second thing which uh, second principle is that it saves data like it can be strings integer list whatever in the memory so that it can use it later and also it can store your functions code as well right we'll talk about it so second thing the most important thing is memory so yeah these are the two things you have to remember first one is thread execution second one is memory and uh, we'll talk about it again now if you will see this function here if you can see it properly this is the main function so if you might be knowing like you know dart starts from main function and guys, if you don't know like the basics of Dart, then please go through my video about Dart basics. Uh, the link you will find in the description. So please check it out. So every Dart program starts with this main function. And then inside you can see it has a number five add by two uh, particular function, which is like function implementation. Then we have two variables output and new output. So um, at first you might be seeing like, oh, okay, I know this. Uh, what's happening you might able to predict the output and all that as well but what you might not be knowing or what is the hardest part is that how these things are getting stored in your computer memory so that is that is what i'm going to talk about in this video so let's uh, let's see what actually happens so two things which i talked about one is thread execution and second is function uh, sorry memory so um, 
when we call about this when we talk about this function which is main function which which is right now here on your screen uh how it will execute okay so thread of execution will be the first line which it will execute will be this one which is const number is equal to five second one will be add by two int input number and now we don't know so we will see that so now how it will happen is that first of all dart for this program will create a memory so we can say memory here okay and this will be a global memory let's say so the first line was const number is equal to 5 so it will say it will take the label so basically what it stores is identifier and the value so we can say number and the value is 5 so this is what is gonna be stored now it will come to the second line and that is add by two this is actually not just an expression it's a, it's a, it's something it's a function implementation so it will see here it will try to add this identifier which is add by two and now the problem is that it's it's not something like it's, it can directly give its value like five it will actually it has to store this entire function let's say in a box or this whole piece of code like this this piece of code add by two whatever it is happening over here for this particular function and that what i meant by we can save code functions to like this this functions code we can save as well so this is what is being saved over here and the third line which it is gonna execute is this one uh, the variable output so it will say output here and now it cannot just give it null or it is like it cannot say undefined or anything because it's executing or it's calling a function so it's saying that add by two how i know it is calling a function because of these two braces as you can see so these braces are a representation that it's calling a function okay now when we talk about functions uh so that that was the idea of this video one is thread of execution which you know now second is functions so functions when we talk about function what it is gonna do for this output is it's gonna say let's say here over here that uh, one second let's let me zoom it a little bit yes what's it's gonna say over here for this is that output is equal to add by two and now it's gonna see number so number it will check the global memory what is number five so it will say five okay now when we guys talk about functions okay so when we say define function so this is actually a function definition and uh, and we can like uh, use it to call or invoke or execute a function with this particular name so the name is add by two so this is this is a particular area which we are actually gonna execute now okay so what exactly uh, we will do here okay let's see so now um, there is two things which again you have to remember function is part of two things one is thread of execution second is memory okay and uh, for these two parts whenever you call a function it creates something what it creates that is our third important thing after uh, thread of execution and memory and that is dart execution context so if you are uh, if you have dealt with the flutter application so sometimes you get this error that execution context is destroyed what that execution context is this 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 is what so what it will do it will create this execution context it will have two things let's say one will be the local memory so for every function there is some local memory okay where it will also do the same thing which uh, this global function was doing right over here now we have another function here which is add by two for this particular output it has also this local memory and let's see what happens so when we talk about this particular function add by two the first thing which is gonna execute or the first line so it will also follow a new thread of execution with a new memory so this is its memory local memory so similarly it will have a new thread of execution so first line should be this one right where result uh, is equal to input number plus two if you are thinking that then you are wrong the first thing which is gonna store is this parameter which is coming which is input number over here so this is the first line so it will say here input number 
so this is the parameter and it has one argument so what is input number uh, it will check like this is the number which is which it found uh, which it found from local uh, global memory which was 5 and it is passing 5 over here so input number is 5 so it will store 5 here okay so this is your input number basically now uh, the second thing which will be execute is this result so this result and for this result if you will see it is saying input number plus two so it will check the local memory if it has input number if it will not have input number then it will check global memory so in local memory has this input number what is value five so it will say five plus two here it will do the computation and the result will be seven so it will store this seven over here okay and this is being done okay and now uh, what is saying it's saying return result so now it will say let's say return the result so what does return means return means this is the end of the function and it has to return some value and you might be confused like what is returning exactly like many people get confused when they see return so what is it means that it will check the result okay what is result this one so it will check this particular result and the result is 7 and it will return it from where it was called this function was called it was called from this output so it will return here 7 so this is how our function will execute okay this is so this is a dart execution context and now once the it's 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 uh, all of its work is done then it can remove this dart execution context it can remove this local memory okay so this is this is being done now um we move to the next line and that is new output so the fourth line which we are going to talk about here this one is new output so i'm gonna say new output and same thing guys it it cannot it is not initialized as of now it is again calling another function that is again add by two and it is passing a constant which is 10 um so what is gonna happen it will again do the same thing it will say uh let's say it should be new output new output is equal to add by two and inside that we have 10 okay so now for this particular function it has two things thread of execution second thing is memory so it will create one more thing what we will call it execution context so it will say local memory okay and this is its dart execution context okay so this is the second execution context now inside the local memory first thing will be input number which is our parameter but this time the value of this input number is 10 so it will store 10 for this a particular identifier the second thing is result so result is again it will check what is the result result is basically input number plus 2 so right now it will check its local memory what is the input number it is 10 so it will say 10 plus 2 which is equal to 12 so it will return this result oh sorry it will write this uh, 12 to this result it will save this result as 12 and now it is saying return result so now once it say return result which means that it will take this result 12 okay and it will return it to here and it will say okay where it is gone okay and what it will say it will say 12 here so new output is 12 and that's how our program will end and guys like what if you don't know this entire thing which we are writing over here let's say this entire thing is itself what dart execution context so this is again a dart execution context it also has a thread of execution it also has a memory and its memory is this global memory and what is the function which is like which for which this dart execution context is the main function okay and uh, and also once you are done with this dart execution context which is the green one like it will remove this as well like it does not need this local memory anymore because we have all all of those things now uh, because now as when we say 
single threaded system that means only one thread of execution can be active at once so how dart will know like you know which execution it has to do like either it will go from this main method one, one by one like one two three four all these it will execute or it will execute the uh, things inside the function then for that we have something called a call stack so we will say call stack so call stack is nothing but it's just a stack which, which will have all the uh, functions which are gonna execute or you can say the all the like whatever thread of execution is active it will uh, it will be saved or stored here so it, in this call stack by default it has this global which is a main uh, let's say we can say global so this is basically our uh, main function which is always be there like this is the global function when nothing will execute then this global will execute and once we say on this line where we say output is equal to 7 over here then it goes to this output is equal to add by 2 and when it creates this dart execution context then at that time what it does is actually it adds this uh, okay what it does is it adds this add by 2 here so now this is on the top so that means it's gonna execute so this is this will be the active thread of execution okay and once it is done by like once it is done with this particular method then uh, it can like remove it from here so it will remove it and uh, it will add for new output it will add this uh, add by two green one so green execution function will be executed and it will again pop it once it will execute let's say if you have multiple function inside it let's say in add by two you have another function then it will add it on the top of it let's say you have let's say multiply by two inside add by two then it will add it so first it will complete it execution so this will be executed and it will be popped and then it will be popped and at the end we always have this uh, global um, function which is always there so yeah this is this is more or less what is happening so this is your call stack and th using this call stack it decides which thread of execution to run okay so yeah this is th there are three things which you have to remember now one is um like not three four exactly one is thread of execution second is memory which we talked about third is execution context which is really important and fourth is call stack so this is what we talked about in this video i hope you enjoyed this video and also got to know so many things which is happening behind the scenes this is the hardest part like if you understand this then you will understand how everything is working and uh, if you really like this video then press the like button subscribe to the channel also press the bell icon to get future updates and let me know in the comments what's your views about uh, this particular series thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care